Oh my god, welcome back to Table Talk. I'm William Haynes. I didn't know. I'm Philip DeFranco. We were starting. You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I wasted like 13 cents worth of water right there. I'm I sorry. loved it. That Did was the really? best intro we've ever had Did on I get Table on anybody? Talk. Did I get on you? No. Did I get on you, Brett? Lens? No, okay. <laughs> no. We're all good. Welcome back to Table Talk, everybody. You know, it's a show where we talk about topics that you guys sent us via the hashtag r slash sourcefed on Reddit. Or you can nope. tweet them up. <laughs> Brie? I'm so sorry. Keep Brie. Going. Oh, oh, no, oh, yeah. Hold yeah. on, right here. Brie. Of course, it's hashtag slash r slash sourcefed. Brie, before this we discussed, I don't like to be told when I'm wrong. You're right. I'm so sorry. Keep oh, going. man. The LA has seeped into you. All right. It really has. So what you can also do is go ahead and retweet us on the reblogger site, tumblr.com slash table talk, and let us know what you're doing. I'm William Hanks. I'm Philip DeFranco. I'm mm. Brie Esserick. Okay. <laughs> Am I not? You're the worst. That's fine. Yeah. No, speak it's, for me. You ever seen the show Dark Shadows before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. I was watching oh, it with my mom. Old, I was old, like, yeah. I was like, uh, this is the type of acting that I know you could do. Me? I know that, yeah, you could do it. Don't you think you could do that or you wouldn't yeah. do that? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's, that's. I don't it's know like, if that's an insult or a compliment. No, I love this show. That show is beautiful. I can't believe you were watching that show. My mom made me watch it. Aww. It was, she was like, I either want to watch Cops or Dark Shadows. And I was like, well, fuck, we got to watch Dark Shadows. Yeah. My mom likes Cops. It's the worst show on television. Cops is one of the best shows on television. It sucks to watch it now because half those dudes are always getting busted for like half a half a joint. Half a joint. And like, we got you, Jim. <laughs> and then you're like, oh. And he's crying. He's like, my life's over. How the fuck do people go to jail for smoking weed? Because they weren't smart enough to just drink and drive. To just exactly. drink and drive. What? Exactly. Okay. You can go to jail for smoking weed. Okay. <laughs> but you can't go to you, people take one shot and will drive into the fucking river. But you can do that on weed too, so you know, especially if you have too much of a new shit. Uh. Oh, all right. The question from Lindsay Litzy is: If you had been allowed, what tattoo you would you have You had your wife put in questions. Yes, yeah, so I was like Lindsay. <laughs> they they've been filming these things out like twelve a day. We need to get <laughs> something new. We need to get in. No, no. This is uh. But have you been? If you were allowed, what tattoo would you have gotten in middle school? In middle school. That's a good question. In middle school, I would have got I would have gotten like a Hey Arnold tattoo because I'm a fucking idiot in middle school. Like Everyone's Arnold's in, head. Yeah, or football like head. Football head. You yeah. would have football head. Yeah. Mm. I saw one where uh, it had Hey Arnold grown up, or like when they were in high school, mm -hmm. and all it was was just all the characters. I think it was actually just fan fiction. It was just all the characters doing each other in closets. Have you seen the Kim Possible no. porn? No. Oh, I've seen an advertisement on that. Don't. Well, you know what's worse? The worst thing about watching porn is, I mean, well, is the advertisements around your porn. It's like, okay, here's my They're beautiful so porn. Gross. They're gross. Who the fuck wants that? It's like, do you want to see like old men fucking other old men and like, it's just well, always the worst. Shit. Like the penis enlargement. Yeah. And like, oh. No, Who's stupid like... enough to click on that shit? Even my dad wouldn't. He'd be like, even if my dad had the tiniest pee, he doesn't understand the internet. He'd be like, mm, that's a scam. You could, <laughs> you could tell. You could tell. Yeah, but like when you're like. You know, your hands are busy and they could accidentally <laughs> knock the ad. And it's so. the same one, and it's been the same one for years, <laughs> yeah. right? It's still in larger pee pee. That, <laughs> or like hot singles in your area mm -hmm. waiting for you, and it's like their boobs are out yeah. and like playing with their boobs, and then if you ever clicked on it, which, you know, back in the day maybe you were tempted. Maybe. And you clicked on it. <laughs> no way. And then it took you to something that was just not that at all. No. I remember mine, I used to live in, t in this part of LA called Canoga Park, which is the mm -hmm. yeah. farthest, the farthest away. Okay, LA's over here. It is the farthest away thing from Los Angeles. It's like, it's just like U-Haul stores and Wells Fargo. <laughs> like, that's it. And uh, I remember it's, I was on, I was watching. Why well, I, I didn't even live in Chatsworth. I lived next to Chatsworth. And, it, and I was on porn and it said, find single women in Chatsworth. And these women with these huge ass titties and like, ooh, these men just don't live in Chatsworth. You can't look like that and live in Chatsworth unless I'm wrong. And Did you, you ever, okay, how would you know? Did you ever go outside? I mean, well, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> to, to double check. What if I was just wrong? I was like, yeah, right, there's no bitches like this. Oh, no. It's, like, it, you know, it Vegas. cuts to her just sad, like, nobody wants <laughs> yeah, me. Exactly. No one swipes me right on Tinder. I'm too hot. That's an issue. Oh, too yeah. hot for online oh, dating. Oh, yeah, it's so yeah. hard. I mean, but no, people won't believe you. They'll be like, you're a robot. You're not real. And she's like, no, these are my real titties. <laughs> They can happen. You think you think that she's that that girl's not being so bombarded with not asked for dick. Yeah, most dude. I mean, most dudes won't care. He's like, I don't care if it's real or not. I'm trying. The fact that yeah. some yeah. women like the fact that women don't just abandon the internet after mm -hmm. like the 28th random oh, dick. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just uh -huh. Props. Yeah, I had a friend yeah, tell me that she like uh, just has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
No, yeah. I'm agreeing. I'm oh, just okay. like, I was like, yes, yeah. yes. Preach. I was like, I was like, if you have like a Snapchat, if you have anything, I just, it's just. Why? Why do dudes think that anybody wants to see your dick? I look down at my dick when I'm peeing and I'm grossed out. <laughs> so we, like, I, I, was talking, I was talking about this with Rob, uh, who just came through, and he said that he sends dick pics, but only when asked. Yeah. And I was like, well, a go. gentleman dick pic. But who wants it? Like, dicks aren't good Some looking. Some people want but that do you like, if they ask for it. But do you, I mean, like, aesthetically, like, if you ha if I had a painting of a dick, wouldn't you be like, you gross? No. That's like a bad hot what's, dog. What's the best way to do it? Is it, do you, do you want, do you, do you just want to present, like, uh, or do you, is, is it better if someone grips for a size comparison? Or do you just bring in the banana? If you're grabbing your dick in a dick pic, it's like you're being a little shy. Or maybe saving some <laughs> for mystery. Shy. Maybe you're saving some for mystery. I like having a little mystery and you know, like mm -hmm. yeah. let me look in, let me imagine what the other we all know what it looks One like. One of though. them is definitely artsier, the other one's more aggressive. Yeah. So it really depends on on the situation. Are you sexting? If so, maybe you can be a little aggressive. You just at the Walgreens bathroom and you're like, well, I got to kill some time. <laughs> exactly. Who's, who, I'm sure I, there, there's enough people in the world and there's enough cell phones that I believe someone has been like, shit, I gotta send this girl a dick pic. Uh, all right, fine. And then they realize, oh shit, I was on the toilet taking a shit. And you can totally, <laughs> that's happened before, right? To you? Not to me, but that's happened to somebody. Or do oh, you think no one's ever been that? That's where a there's fetish. something and no. like there's like poop. There's always like those no. pictures where there's like a, a like a giant turd in the background yeah. or a child that's like mom. Yeah, I love the when the, the ass those. out. She's like she's like like clearly just like like trying her her camera's up inside her vagina and she took it out a little bit and you can see her baby who's like I need to be fed <laughs> like <laughs> like that happens. My favorite is the one where it's like they caught me sleeping. Yeah, it's and then it's you in the mirror. The mirror. I gotta do you one like that. Mirror. That's so I love people getting busted. I do too. I feel like though we. Some, it's uh, like cops. Oh, that's why my mom likes cops. That's exactly why. People getting why. busted for having half a fucking joint. It was sativa. He wasn't gonna do shit. I feel like girls get to like do a lot more though. Like guys don't have this up top. Like you could oh, maybe speak you could maybe be, <laughs> you see me under this sweater. <sighs> Some guys do. I know that I've been giving you shit in my vlogs, but the fact that <laughs> I walked in, you were slowly unbuttoning your shirt as you were lifting weights to li while you were listening to Kanye. Yeah, I was mad a couple minutes ago. You were mad? <laughs> I was about 20 minutes ago, I was mad. That's, so, that was your way of getting it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, if you're like, if you're like uh, in a bad mood and you're like, man, some people are stupid and they're like, I'm in a bad mood, I'm gonna fuck with a stranger. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm in a bad mood, I'm gonna just lift some shit and then I get over it. Yeah, so yeah. use it in a positive way. Yeah, use it in a positive way. I have some weights way. here, I use them to clear my head. It's very good for that. It helps. Like depression, anxiety, if you like feel like, if you're in a weird mood, just go lift some shit. Let's or punch a, punch a stranger in the face. Or punch a stranger in the face. Get on the news. <laughs> <laughs> your mom be so proud. Oh, my baby knocked out a man on the I-405 freeway. I don't know how you got out the car, but. Yeah, I don't know how yeah. you even sped up to the car with your legs I to mean, punch the dude in the face. You can do that. I remember what I did this uh, last week oh, was wait. I. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I, actually, I just have an appreciation that you said the I-405. People always say is the Well, the? it's just us out here that say the I-405. Yeah, I say the a lot, but uh, but I did this thing this week where I was driving and I didn't want to go into an intersection because sometimes you get caught in the middle of the intersection mm -hmm. when the car stops, so I waited. And this car behind me honked. I was like, oh, anytime you honk at me, I'm pissed. I don't like it. That's like you say, hey, bitch. So, <laughs> even, so even if you're in the wrong, you're like, what? I'm like, even if I fuck, if I hit you and you honked at me, <laughs> oh. So I, so like I got, I went into the intersection and some little room came and he came up behind me. So I parked my car and opened my door. I didn't get out all the way, but I know he was scared as shit. Just to fuck with him. like. Wait, and then you just went back in? Yeah, I just got back in my car. But I know for a second, and I think Darren did it too. Darren got off the other side too. He was scared as shit. All right, I win, dude. Oh my god! You say that I win. you don't my know god. the level of crazy. You don't yeah. know the level of crazy. See, every fucking every time you see some guy that shot something up, it's the smallest, weirdest looking white dude. Because <laughs> he's, he's had time to think about it. He's like. <sighs> He's that time. No one when he's in public, he's not like a big titty girl. He walks through Walgreens and nobody talks. That's to him. the thing. You don't want to. So be... he has all this time to think about how could I do some murder and shit. <laughs> like she doesn't have time to think about murder and shit. People try to talk to her. <laughs> so the answer is, hey Arnold tattoo. What would you get? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> Naruto tattoo. There we go. Oh, Seth what? Grace. Naruto was an anime. Oh, yeah. I was obsessed with it. In oh really? School. Oh yeah. Oh, I was obsessed with a series of unfortunate events, so I would have gotten a Count Olaf eye tattoo on my ankle. The VFD. VFD. Or I would have gotten VFD. Yeah. Are, they, yeah. are they actually making the Netflix series, yeah, or was are. that just a fuck up? No. And you know what? They're doing that is so cool. They're doing an open casting call for the lead roles. Really? Yes. What? So they're casting Anybody. actual high school kids. Like, That's great. 
any any girl or boy that looks either 14 or 12 mm -hmm. to play the two leads in the series. That's great. I don't know because the books don't take place over a very long time, so they might have to shoot that all soon. Maybe yeah. that's why in the movies they did three of them at once. Because Harry Potter, it's every year and they get older and mm -hmm. older. But for series of unfortunate events, I think it's supposed to take place in like maybe a year or two. And it's 13 books and they're all great. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. never read any of them. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, it might so be good. too late now. I, I'm afraid to go back and reread it because I feel like I might have just been young and liked it. Mm -hmm. But I remember the stories. Some of them were kind of emotional. These abandoned kids, they're orphans, and there's a baby, and she's smarter than the rest of them. You know, kind of like Full House. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I describe that it's like series to my friends. It's like it's like Full House, except Baby Michelle actually has like really sharp teeth and likes to bite. Things. Yeah, it's, it's actually the opposite of Full House, other than the <laughs> fact that there's a baby. It's the most depressing <laughs> yeah. series you could ever read. Yeah, it really is, and that's why I think one of them they don't sell in uh, libraries in in, uh, really? in Georgia or something because it's too it's too like much. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about orphans and their parents died in a fire and oh, their uncle tries to marry one. Watch the TV show. It's not like up. worse things did not happen in Georgia. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk shit. Oh, oh. I remember like Very when true. I first got started on uh, on SourceFed, they told me, they were like, don't do like this kind of accent. It's offensive. I was like, what, man? Country people love me. But uh, you're you not supposed to You should definitely do keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's offensive apparently, but I'm sorry. My dad's from Louisiana. Uh, he can't say chimney. He, chimney, well, go to chimney. <laughs> uh, which, uh, Rainbow Lobster says, would you rather have everything you touch come alive and try to fuck you, or it disappears forever? See, you must be one of those people that don't got big titties so you can walk through Walgreens and nobody says shit to you. What, did you guys hear this? Yeah, yeah. I, yes, I heard it. Would you rather have everything you touch come alive and try to fuck you, or it disappears forever? I How is he trying to fuck me? Like, hey, yeah, what you doing tonight? Well, so... <laughs> or as, as long as, hey, what you doing? Right. <laughs> My as, life is a mixed bag of both of those yeah. things. Yeah. Oh, sometimes I grab things and they just sometimes, go away. Sometimes everything I like disappears, and then sometimes everything I don't like tries to fuck me. As long as it's so, not trying to fuck my mouth, I think I'm okay with it. So what if I'm so asleep? So your butt is okay. How big is this object? <laughs> if you were to touch this tabletop bowl. No, I'm not dead. And it tried to fuck Well, me. here's but, the thing. I can fight this off. You could, you could smash the shit out of yeah, it. If you, you got shoes it. on. If you got shoes on, yeah, but if you don't. Like, what if you oh, go home and you be able to your... drive, though? Oh, my God. Then your car's trying to fuck you. Like, you're like. That could be a hot Oh, hot. stick shift? <laughs> the stick shift, like, slowly, like, tries to reach into you. I'm like, oh, no, just take me to Walgreens. Herbie could What's up with Walgreens? <laughs> is this episode sponsored by Walgreens? Yeah, actually, thanks to you, buy Walgreens. Go get your par your medics, uh, whatever it is they give there. <laughs> I bought foot cream there once. What <laughs> is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm actually. I'm actually in a pretty good mood. I worked out. <laughs> You're good. such a strange dude. What about you? I know. I just started recently. I was like, I'm gonna just say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> just recently? Yeah, like a month ago. I was like, all right, fuck it. No, like two weeks ago. Oh, so if would I rather have everything you touch come alive and try to fuck you, or it disappears forever? Um, I mean, if it's trying to fuck me, I can't use it, right? <laughs> like, I'm but glad phones don't have maybe, antennas maybe, anymore. Maybe you just have to like fuck it real good, and then it's just like. Chill. So, like, what if, like, you You're go home... every piece of food that you eat. Like, if you go home and slap your wife's ass, does the ass... Or does your <laughs> wife... Like, let's, let's say it's inanimate objects. Okay. <sighs> then I guess I have to pull the Jean Grey and wear gloves all the time, except... Mm. You mean Rogue? Sorry, I'm so Wait. sorry. I'm so sorry, Wait, let's have a conference. Okay, okay. When I'm wrong, it's between you and me. Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh. I won't let it happen again. I feel like Will suffers from the same thing that I do in that he'll say a word when he means something that is in the almost family of words. Yeah. <laughs> is she not an X-Men? <laughs> is she not an X-Men? Is she an X-Men? Well, Jean Grey actually becomes evil at some point. Turns you into Phoenix. Like the Phoenix. When you say things Rogue. that aren't like, I like full Rogue. grammatical sentences, I want those things on a t-shirt. Yeah. People is she <laughs> an X-Men? But she X-Men though. Mm. <laughs> she X Men though. Mm. I like that. That should be a meme. About, yeah, but is she, she X Men, -Men though? though? What about Dude, you? She's though? perfect for you. She she loves reading. She's so funny. Is she an X Men though? <laughs> I can't take her out. I kind of like disappear forever just because I could touch certain people yes. that I don't like. But then what if you like you're like you, then you can't ever touch the person that you care about, right? Oh. Oh my god. That's so true. I would. I, I take it back. I, I'll let fuck inanimate objects you can't. fuck me. Everything will fuck me. Everything will fuck me. Isn't that a thing, though, in uh, Iron Man? Uh, if you look closely in the films, he doesn't let have anything handed to him. 
it's like a very subtle joke throughout the films. He like he's always anytime someone like hands something, he's like, oh, I don't like to be handed things, and then it just moves on to the next topic. It's hilarious. Yeah. What? Now you're gonna make me watch Rewatch? all that. Yeah. I love those movies. He's my idol. Who? Robert Iron Downey Man? Jr. in yeah. that movie. This question comes from at Uchia Friedman, right? That mm -hmm. looks sure. What is your adult candy store equivalent? For example, for me, it's a guitar store. Best mm. Buy. Best Buy. I just go I to like Best drones. Buy. They have everything. They have fucking drones. They have all the new movies and video games and TVs and love it. Mm. Love it. Mm. I'll just I'll just window shop. Plus, apparently, everyone that works at Best Buy watches our shows. Uh, makes sense. Electronics. Ah. You want to know about tech? They're like, oh man, that Trisha Hershberger used to really get me. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. She knows, but she likes Android. I don't get it. <laughs> Their cameras are bad. I like. Uh, what are you talking about? I really do think that. I don't. Are you insane? You just just mess around with the uh, the edge that they just sent, Steve. Like I have an edge because of the Ting deal. Really? It's Is amazing. It good? Am I it's wrong? It's amazing. They did four. I mean, Android did four K before Apple did. All Apple does, and it's not. I'm not hating. I use an Apple phone as like my main phone. They take shit that other people did. Sometimes it's Android, but also sometimes like literally fucking apps that people make for mm -hmm. Apple, and then they're like. We're just gonna do this because yep. why would we have you do it? Yeah, and that's all they do, and they uh, get praised. I'm a Steve Jobs fuckboy though. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, like seriously, like I suck Steve Jobs as a dick. Like everything that he came out with, and he put his little eye in front of. I love his it. The fact that the eye. fact, the fact <laughs> that, it is a little eye too. The fact that you <laughs> praise him, I think, is his is his speaks the highest of him. Like that's the reason that he should get praised. He should get praised because he got praised for getting other people to do the work. Yeah, absolutely. He really did. And I mean, somehow it's well, all him. There's this clip of Steve Jobs that I love, and I, I've watched it a few times. It's where he's giving like a talk to maybe some college students, and he talks about Nike's advertising. Advertising. He says in the Nike commercials, unlike like Adidas commercials notice they don't Nike doesn't talk about the shoe they tell you nothing about the shoe they don't say it has good soles they didn't say it helps you run faster what they do is they surround it with athletes they say Michael Jordan wears Nike they say oh this other sports guy you like wears Nike look at Apple commercials what it is it's a video of Gandhi making some noise here's to the crazy ones the round pegs and square holes it has nothing to do with Apple and it's, it's about associating your brand with uh, a figure which he did with himself which only made himself a billionaire well that's why I like him a f <laughs> I like that it's like, that was the equivalent of a William Haynes mic drop. Yeah, mic drop. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's essentially what you're talking about is like people care about experiences, mm -hmm. they care about movements, they care about, they do care about people because it also relates to status. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's just classism. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm totally down with that. And also I just like, I think I, my thing in everything I do artistically, I mean in my life so far, I try to do minimalism. Like uh, my, the People Be Like set is literally a wall. And a mm -hmm. light one. I like minimalism things. And the how iPhones were when they first started is very simple. Two colors. That's it. The I, all apps are right there in front of you. Just click them. I like things like that. Do you think it's downhill now that he's gone? <sighs> no, I think they're like it. It kind of now the phones resemble more Android-ish to me. They look more like the phones that you see everyone else have. But that was just gonna happen over time. What I'm really excited to see is in 50 years from now, uh, this like our iPhones that we have now look like the first iPhones. In 50 years, they won't probably. And I want to see that. We're not going to have phones in 50 years. We're just going to. They'll be in our heads. <laughs> yeah. You could pay an extra $50 when your kid's born to get himself his, his own. There is going to be something that doesn't exist today that will be commonplace in 20 years. Yeah. Right? And you're going to have to ask, like, a kid how, how something uh -uh. works. I'm not being one of those adults. I'm going to find out everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. The, the, the problem with the generation before us is what they don't know about is updating. We're aware of that. On your computer, it tells you every day, do you want to update? And you say, fuck no. And that's what people older than us do. <laughs> you say, fuck no. I say, no. fuck no. Yeah, I'm like, run me tomorrow. <laughs> I want to I I I be vulnerable yeah. to all sorts of shit. Yeah, yeah. That's actually will fuck up your computer. But I think what our generation, hopefully, will learn is that you have to change with the times. You gotta update your computer. Yeah. That is so true. Mm. That is true. What were we on? <laughs> like if you're like, what's your adult candy store equivalent? Mm. Oh. So the Apple store? I'd say so, yeah. I do okay. like going in the Apple store. I got kicked out of the Apple store. In, for dancing? No, for being there and being 16 when I was, ooh, oh. where's where that Apple store at? Because I want to talk shit specifically. I forgot, but they kicked me out, and I remember I You're went to it. Were being 16? No, I was just young and looked like I didn't know what I was doing. Motherfucker, I was, I mean, I was going to buy a computer eventually. <laughs> like, six months later, I did. And so, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mine is, like, a record store, probably. Mm. I like record stores. You like, like going through there? Yeah, or and bookstores. I love the smell of bookstores. Me too. Not libraries. Though. Yeah. They smell disgusting. Have you ever been into a, uh, an adult shop? Yes. 
No. Oh, I know you have. Oh. <laughs> no, no, okay. no. Sorry. It's, it's I, just something I assumed. Sorry, that was a I'm question right. just for Will. Okay. I, I've definitely okay. never been in an adult store. You I'm haven't? like. I'm a big boy, but like, I don't think I could take it. Cause I hate, I think I was talking to Darren about this. I hate a really bad, uh, like, you know when you go to Halloween store and the costumes are like, oh, buy this Chinese kid costume. And it's like really just offensive and stupid. Yes. That's what it's like in like uh, adult stores. They're like, buy this fake dick. It'll get you tricks. Like it's just real lame titles and shit. I don't like the aesthetic. I'm sorry. Apple store is very minimal and it's beautiful. I'll chill out there. As a man, I feel like everything I do is under constant scrutiny in a sex shop. Like just where, <laughs> like the section I'm in, mm -hmm. what I'm looking at, mm -hmm. why I'm- Oh, so you only like Asian girls, huh? <laughs> exactly. Wait, yeah. my wife shut yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that should be a video. You know how that in the last table talk we were in, you read my Google, uh, uh -huh. you and your wife should read out whatever the last porn, cause I know you still watch hey, porn. Hey, we've, we've been together for nine years. We know incognito mode. Yes, <laughs> you gotta know incognito mode. I remember I had incognito mode on, and you know you can still log into things. And my friend saw I was on incognito mode from something I was doing earlier, and he still went on my incognito was type shit. Don't fuck with my incognito. You might run into some shit related to you. Oh. oh. Wait, why? I don't know. Maybe I like my friends. Are I you typing your friend's it. name plus nude? Where were you going with this adult store thing, Phil? Because were you, is that your adult? You opening one? No, it just made me, no, it just made me <laughs> because think Because I was like. No, no, no. That's that cool. is super fun. But you're right about men being under scrutiny in those stores because whenever I'm there, I watch. They, the dudes are so shady in those really? stores. Mm. You can be out and open, and I will not give a shit what you're doing. But when you're hide, trying to like hide yourself, I'm just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where are you going? <laughs> what are you doing? And you know how they go rent a DVD and then they go in the back and watch the DVD. Wait, really? How could you do that? Okay. Well, what do you mean how? I you I can't jerk Pee off Pee anywhere. Pee Wee Herman got busted in a theater. Pee Wee like, Herman has a couch that can Paul talk Ruben, to him. I don't put it past him. It was him. an adult movie theater. They were playing adult movies in it. That's why I feel bad for him because why would you go to an adult movie if you're not going to jerk not off? off? And was he doing it over his pants? If so, let him go. Uh, I don't know. Oh wait, but if he, if he whipped it out, then that's too much. It's but too obviously much. there are no children. Obviously anyone under age is not allowed in there mm -hmm. to be with, so I don't see the what big the deal issue. With yeah, that. it's it's a it's a weird it's a it's a gray line. But I think it was the fact. I think the reason it blew up. If he was anyone else, probably whatever small minimum doesn't matter. The fact that he had a show that was aimed towards kids. Exactly. Okay. That, yeah. yeah. And, and that not in America, really, we love. Not, not have you guys seen is. it? I watched it this year, back in February. I watched Pee Wee's uh, Playhouse. Shit is not for kids. It's like <laughs> if you took two shrooms and then went into like fucking Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, it wouldn't be a scary That's a lot of the old stuff though. Yeah. Like yeah. even mm -hmm. afterwards, Rocco's Modern Life, shit like What's that. Fucked up. Super weird. Yeah. Like Rocco in Rocco's Modern Life, there's an episode where he's a sex worker. Like, oh, yeah. He, he's I think on I heard the about phone that. and there's like they're all about mo they're like moaning and mm -hmm. just craziness. Ren and Stimpy is like for sure out of control. Oh, yeah. And Steve showed me, Steve and Owen were like, hey, come and sit down in the living room. I'm like, all right, let's, let's see what we're watching. And they showed me not Ren and Stimpy, but the uncut version of Ren and Stimpy, okay. which is after they got taken off, they got put on another channel. And they were like, oh, we're going to make whatever you want. And it's like, it's it's the most heartbreaking thing I've ever seen. They just go out there, oh, yeah, let's go to the beach and play with titties and uh, die. Like, that's the that's an episode. Yeah, of there, was, there was an episode I saw, and I, I sent uh, Lindsay a gif on Twitter. It's like, uh, it's... I forget which one. Which one's the fat one? Uh, Stampy? Not to Ren Shame. Not to Ren Shame. I don't know. But, but it's like he's he's massaging a woman's hair, and the soap that is being dispensed is from his uh, faucet shaped dick. I think that's the one I saw. Yeah. Whoa. Mm -hmm. So weird. Do, can I rent that at the sex shop? Maybe. No, just go to Steve. Go to Steve's laptop. He's got every episode in chronological <laughs> he's got order some weird for shit sure. On his laptop. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to the adult store because I will not get over this. Okay. I asked if I could go see what was back there because I didn't want to rent a movie, but I, I was curious. I wanted to see the setup. And she was like, yeah, go ahead. First of all, the smell is straight up bleach. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. And, good. But, and semen. It's like semen does and semen, bleach. Does semen Ugh. have a smell? <gasps> Can you? <It's... sighs> like, do you mean like so dry semen? Is it a does box? Does semen have a smell? Yeah, it absolutely does still. So. I've, it's the worst smell ever. Okay, okay. it's not a good smell. I've, it's not a good smell. Yeah. It, yeah. Was it like a box that they go in, or it's a it's room? a booth? It's a it's yeah. like a picture taking booth. That's yeah. what it looks like. It takes it looks like a photo booth, and you go in, and I actually went into one of the stalls, and there was a glory hole. No. Yes, yes, way. yes, glory hole. 
You don't know what's on the other side of that. It could be somebody who's just going to put their fingers a like this. A good time. You pay for pussy and side. you got somebody's fingers like this, I'd be pissed. I like that your thought is I'm getting ripped off. Yeah. <laughs> not, not someone could literally rip my dick yeah. off. Yeah. That's what you think. No one who is going to do a glory hole would be have the decency to rip know. someone's dick off. You might be the first of the, the glory hole stranglers. That's I'm true. Sure like that. I'm it's pretty in the news. sure glory holes are more for the closeted. For the oh, really? Because oh. it's like the mouth, ma- it's supposed to be a mouth thing, right? I don't think you are supposed to, well, I, I don't know. I want to see Don Lemon from CNN or whatever station he's on. Glory holes, are you getting ripped off? <laughs> I know tonight Don at 11. Lemon. I love Don Lemon. Don Lemon's he's the like most Oba- ignorant motherfucker on TV. Don Lemon possibly hates black people more than half the people on Fox News. He's just got a lot to prove. No, he doesn't. He's got a lot. He's just, Don he's Lemon's just a saying, fucking idiot. Don Lemon's like, hey, I'm intelligent. When you really want to be something, no one's going to believe you. So when he's like, hey, I'm intelligent, fine, I'm on CNN. It's a red color, conservative, but like... Or whatever uh, channel is on, but yeah, I like him. I like him. I would, if, I would be friends with him. He's like Obama if he didn't get elected to anything. No, he's not. In he no just way. reminds me of his what? demeanor. His demeanor. No. I mean, okay, maybe I'm wrong. In my opinion, he's definitely not like him. But yeah, I don't know. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. Would you stick your your pee pee in a glory hole? I wouldn't stick for my... two million dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. You can rip my dick off for two million dollars. I'll buy a new one and fucking shoot BB <laughs> guns out of it. <laughs> yeah, Watson, what's going on in China? <laughs> oh, I got an Iron Man dick, is what I'm you trying know. to say. Is that the name of Iron Man's guy? Watson, right? Right? No. Wait, Watson? Jarvis. Like fucking Jarvis. Jarvis. How would I not know that? Yeah. Watson is from Robert Downey Jr., also plays Sherlock Holmes, who yeah. has an assistant named Watson. Oh, Thank you I like so that you're much. Well, you know when you us. said, is she an X-Men? No, same shit. I was afraid <laughs> to answer you because yeah. I thought I, I was going to have to go into the conference room again. Would you do, would you do a glory hole for $2 million? Yes. How $2 million? Okay, so now we're just going, now it's price. $1 How million. does that work with yeah. a woman? Do you like... A quarter of a million dollars. Yeah. $100,000 plus free Taco Bell for a year. Now we're reaching the range of what Phil has in his bank account. <laughs> <laughs> then it just turns into a whole different video. Can we do Mendocino Farms? Mendocino Farms, yes. Yes. I'm with you on Deal. that. Deal. Wait, that's where it's Done. at? Mendocino Farms 100, is shit. 100K plus Mendocino for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. There's just some like Saudi prince like, okay, we go to America. If I was a prostitute, I'd say, you got to take me to Wendy's after that. <laughs> That'd be part of it. I'd be like, dude, or, or girl, like you got to take me to Wendy's. Like You can do whatever you want. You got to pay for it. But also, I have a Wendy's tax. Wendy's? Yeah. Because you know, after you do some nasty shit, you're like, ah, damn, I just need Wendy's. <laughs> That's your experience. Or is yours in and out? You look like an in and out guy. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What does that? I don't know. It means something to Will. You know the shit you like after you just did some shit. My shame food is definitely Taco Bell. Oh, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. I'll talk. Ta- Ooh, I'll talk shit. Time. I'll talk shit to Taco Bell mm. on Twitter. Get really drunk, eat some Taco Bell. Yeah, <laughs> they like. They like. You guys talk shit. Y'all always make these diarrhea jokes, but I know you love me. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like everybody, like you, like McDonald's. A double cheeseburger from McDonald's. I swear to God, to me is is. Oh, it's the best tasting thing. Mm-hmm. I could just keep eating those forever. But that shit is so bad for you. So yeah. bad for you. Tastes Mine's good like though. Grilled cheese from In and Out. Yeah. Oh, I could fuck with that hard. Yeah. Animal style fries. Yes. Yep. But for some reason, this shit will make you all, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Mommy, I gotta go to sleep. I was like, were you rubbing your belly or jerking off your second dick? <laughs> oh, oh okay. this is my third dick. I wish you knew me. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Are we good? I think that, I think we answered all the questions, right? <laughs> right? Oh, who's got another question? Oh, I didn't think so. All right, so everybody, thanks for watching Table Talk. You know, it's been a wonderful time. We've learned together that, uh, you know, uh, glory holes aren't that expensive. Uh, I think Will or Phil and I learned a lot more. Yeah. yeah. I learned a lot about you guys, too. I hate the fact that you like Don Lemon. I mean, I like him for a, for a different reason. Why? Because he's... It's like, I don't know. Just having him at your dinner party would be so awkward. It would be hilarious. Okay. It would Because the type of shit he would so suggest, we all do Sudoku. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm like, no, Don! <laughs> Uh, I'm William Haynes. I'm Philip DeFranco. I'm Bree Estrick. <laughs> I'm still mad. I gotta go work out. If you're a casual superhero fan, you may notice some similar characters across both DC and Marvel. You might hear fanboys even argue about who came first. Was it Black Cat or Catwoman? What about Mr. Fantastic or Plastic Man or Elongated Man? Why are there so many?